Hi, I'm Court. I'm a pyrography artist, and today we are going to make a super simple two ingredient food grade wood finish that also smells divine using mineral oil and beeswax. And here is everything you need to get started a sheet of parchment paper to catch your mess when we get there. You'll need a big bowl for mixing and melting, a cork trivet or something similar to place a hot bowl on. You'll need beeswax. And here is the formula for the recipe. It's one part beeswax. In my tutorial today, I'm using half of this one pound or 16 ounce bar, which equals to eight ounces because I'm gonna make just a small batch of wood finish today. I use Dutchman's Gold Canadian Beeswax because it has a naturally potent smell of sweet honey. And this item is optional, but you can use a peeler or a knife to shave or cut the beeswax block into smaller pieces for melting. Next, you'll need mineral oil, so make sure to use 100% food grade mineral oil. And here I'm using 32 ounces, which brings me to the second part of the recipe equation, which is four parts mineral oil. Have a wood spoon for mixing, and you'll need a turkey baster for the fun part of the recipe that will be coming up. You will also need tins or jars or one big container, whatever you want to store your wood finish in. I use these two ounce metal tins for my wood burning starter kit, so each kit gets a tin. And lastly, you will need a double broiler or a pot with water in it and then rest your heat safe mixing bowl on top. Let's get cooking. So this first step is totally optional. You can shave or cut your wax into smaller pieces with a potato peeler or a knife. This can be time consuming and it does require a bit of strength as wax is very solid and well, waxy. This step is helpful because smaller pieces of wax means a shorter time to melt that wax. But if chopping up the wax is taking you more than 10 minutes, then stop and move on to the next step. Now add the mineral oil to the bowl. Remember, one part beeswax to four parts mineral oil. In this recipe, we have eight ounces of wax and 32 ounces of mineral oil, which will yield 40 ounces of wood finish. Okay, it's time to add this bowl to the double broiler. Pour some water into the base pot and then place the mixing bowl on top and turn the heat onto high. You will need to stir every so often. Here, the mixture is just starting to heat up and this is the mixture after 10 minutes. You can see all the very small shavings have already melted. And now here is after 20 minutes, the larger chunks have also melted and it's ready to come off the heat. Turn off your heat, wear oven mitts, it's going to be hot, and place the bowl on top of the cork trivet. Grab the turkey baster and have your tins ready for filling on top of the piece of parchment paper. We are going to fill up 21 tins today. Each tin is two ounces and because we made 40 ounces of finish, that would fill 20 of these two ounce tins, but I never fill right to the top, so I always have a little left over to fill up one extra tin. Now this turkey baster is not only really fun to use, but it is also precise. I can add the hot mixture right down to the drop. I can fill each tin uniformly so each one is the same weight and there is less mess this way. Maybe there is a faster way to fill the tins but I guarantee you that there is not a more fun way to fill them. I wouldn't do it any other way, it's my favorite part of the whole recipe. Now check out the cooling process. Here is the mixture at 0 minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes and 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, you can see it is now opaque. I'm still gonna let these cool for another couple hours. This finish can be used on all wooden items that you would use for food, like a charcuterie board or wooden kitchen utensils. The wood finish will seep into the wood to enhance the aesthetic of the wood grain, and it also provides a bit of protection to the wood. Use a clean cloth to apply the wood finish to your wooden item. This finish will add luster and shine to the wood, making it look brand new. And then let the finish cure for 24 hours before you use your wooden item. Reapply this finish when your wood begins to look dull. This recipe is great to make large batches if you're selling or including small tins of wood finish at markets alongside your wooden products, or if you create a ton of food grade wooden items and you want to save some money by making your own finish, or you're just really curious to how much fun using a turkey baster is for adding wood finish to small tins. Either way, give this recipe a go and stay tuned for more wood finish recipes with different ingredients.